Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to run uh, Python web apps uh, on your local machine. Now to do that we need several things. First of all we have to download a software called XAMPP and you can find XAMPP under this link apachefriends.org and in it you can load, download XAMPP. What XAMPP does it's a local it's a, it's a server uh, or let's say a software which acts as a server for your local machine. So you can basically run web applications on your local machine. So first we download it, you install it somewhere, and then uh, the next step is you've got to get yourself Python. If you don't have Python installed in your machine, you have to download Python. That's the th uh, second thing, and Python, you'll find Python under python.org. And there you can download the latest uh, version of Python and downloads. And there you'd find uh, the latest version currently is 3.8.2. Download it, install it somewhere in the machine, and then we can proceed to the next step. So guys, I've installed XAMPP. I mean XAMPP itself. And now we have to go into Apache and Conf. And we have to pick this thing, uh, this file, httpd.conf. We've got to do some minute changes. Why do we have to do these changes? Because XAM is uh, made to run primarily with PHP and the MySQL databases. But with slight modifications, we can also run Python web apps on this local server. And we just open, I'm just going to open this, this file. And I'm now in http.conf, and what you do, you add this one at the bottom of this of, of that file. What that means that this uh, that Zam can now basically handle .py scripts. That's what it all what it does. You all you've got to do is copy that. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put these two lines in in the uh, description below, so you can just copy and paste it into your own uh, http.conf. Then. The next step what we have to do is basically search in uh, http.conf, search for this string. Let's copy that, go back to http.conf and search. Oops. And search here and find next. And there, what you have to do, you can see the file endings are basically PHP or PL for Perl, and what you have to add are uh, also Py uh, file extensions. So I already did that. I added home.py or index.py. You know, you can add uh, the sort of you know these are the names of the default uh, 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 pages you have in your on your site. For most of them are called index or default or home. So you're basically covering your bases here with home.py, index.py, and if you wish, also default.py. And then that is that is done. The other thing you have to do is basically and uh, setting the public uh, directory. Uh, XAMPP has uh, by default, hold on a second. XAMPP has by default uh, htdocs set as the public directory. That's where uh, the server, or, or that's where you can put files for the server to serve as web applications. You can change that to any other directory. I did that here. This hashtag, uh, this uh, hashtag at the front means that this is um, uh, commented. This is not applicable. What I did, I changed the document root to e dot e and public. So that's that's where my uh, scripts are gonna go for for that web server to to serve. And then here, this this part here just is uh, some details to that directory. And previously it was this, and I just commented this out, and I just copied it and put ePublic instead of that. So these are all the changes you've got to do. Save it. And then we're ready to go. And now here I have created an index.py, and it is in the folder. Uh, it is in the directory public that's the, that's the folder i set as public or as root directory in my xamp then i added a, another uh, folder which is basically the name of the application let's say baseline pi 
And in it, I created an index file, index.py. And we are right now in index.py. And now it's very important, first of all, to set the path to your Python application. I installed Python in here. And that's, that's, that's very important. That's important to put that hashtag and then exclamation mark and then the path to the Python. And then what's also important is this string to basically um, uh, ensure or tell the, the server that we're printing HTML. And then after that, everything below that, you can do whatever you want. You can print any Python code you want and you just save it. And then if you go into your browser, you get this output. And, and now I have a local uh, server able to handle Python web applications. And obviously in, uh, in, 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 in my index, I can just do any uh, standard Python code that I want. And that will then get uh, output uh, on, on, on that page as a, as you know, as the way, the way a web app handles.